In June 2022, Bangladesh witnessed some of the worst flooding in 122 years in the Sylhet region, which hit at a time when the country was still recovering from floods in late May caused by the early arrival of the South Asian monsoons. An estimated 7.2 million people have been severely affected by flooding in nine northeastern districts of Bangladesh. Bangladesh is a low delta region and is prone to floods due to its geographical location. The Ganga Brahmaputra Meghna Basin shared by the South Asian countries Bangladesh, India, Nepal and Bhutan is considered as one of the largest freshwater outlets to the world's oceans. The rivers in the basin flow downstream and finally drain into the Bay of Bengal. This year, India's northeastern states of Assam and Meghalaya experienced some of the heaviest rains seen this century which led to flooding in both India and Bangladesh as water from the rivers could not drain into the Bay of Bengal. Due to development works, uh, encroachment, grabbing, river grabbing, wetland grabbing, that's why this flood was more intense in uh, Silatus on this year. Bangladesh was fully unprepared. They even didn't expect that, uh, that that type of inundation would occur. This is man-made reasons as well as uh, due to the inadequate dressing of the rivers and the other canals. I visited uh, Brahmaputra region uh, a few months ago. I saw people uh, are, are taking measures to cope with the flood. Uh, so they did, so they build flooding after hanging bed. Once the flood go away, they take, they rebuild their houses. Flood carries a huge amount of sediment. Uh, this sediment makes, uh, makes the challenge more fertile. So. Yeah, farmer can produce huge, um, huge crops here. That's why people love to live in Chorya. And uh, one thing, maybe occur in the uh, in the dry season, um, waterborne disease. Bangladesh is still recovering from two rounds of flooding that caused severe damage to roads, bridges, embankments, paddy fields, and also impacted livestock. The humanitarian situation continues to be critical. There are multiple issues such as the rapid spread of waterborne diseases and instances of family separation, violence against children and women, particularly gender-based violence and intimate partner violence. Countries like Bangladesh are among the lowest contributors to climate changing emissions, but are among the worst affected by climate change impacts, being especially vulnerable to floods, drought and cyclones. Bangladesh has taken several structural measures to manage the floods, but experts say countries sharing transboundary rivers would have to work together on issues related to floods and water management. Natural uh, you know, resources like air, water, they don't have a geography. But unfortunately, everyone focuses on the country level, uh, you know, the uh, issue. Among the joint rivers between Bangladesh and India, there is only agreement was in the Ganga, Rivers agreement on the Tista River was going on, but it is yet to be uh, finalized. At the three countries, there is no agreement. India, Bangladesh, and Bhutan. Oh, we are getting huge volume of water in the monsoon, but at the same time we are getting too little water during winter. So water is is getting so precious. We have to take the collaborative program like sharing water of transboundary river, and at the same time taking. Benef benefit sharing approach. South Asian countries are slowly initiating dialogue to work together on transboundary river management to lessen flood risks. Bangladesh has called for joint basin management with India to ensure equitable water sharing and basin wide river management. Nepal is also holding discussions with India and Bangladesh about the need for real time sharing of weather and flood data. The geopolitical uh, issue should be undermined whenever it comes to the humanitarian issue. The South Asian leaders should take very seriously how they would assure proper flood management and for the sake of their own people, at the sake of South Asian people.